Hello guys, welcome to the Design Tech Center YouTube channel. In this video, we will be continuing with our third step in which we will be creating the walls and implementing the doors and windows into it. Let's start building the walls. Let's go to the plinth level. Okay, from the plinth level, we are going to raise the walls. This is the plinth level view. So now you have to create the outer exterior walls first of all. So here you can see the architecture option. Click on this architecture option. So we want to create the walls. Click on walls. In the properties you are going to see like thickness, material, etc. Let's select the thickness of exterior walls so I'm going uh, not going to be that practical in the beginning let's uh, select 200 mm thickness of wall here you can see the base constraint option here the base constraint is plinth which is uh, correct from the plinth level we are going to raise the walls it means that so top constraint here it is showing unconnected we don't need unconnected we need up to the first floor level so first floor is uh, yeah. click on the first floor level so here you can see automatically it will display the height that is 3.4 meter now click on apply now from here let's zoom in from here you can draw the walls you know the length of this wall was 7.54 meter as i shown in my autocad drawing this was 7540 click ok so ok so let's adjust that uh, irregularity afterwards so this was 9.6 meter so 9600 mm Okay, this uh, make it up to this level. Yes, it will show the indication when you go to that level. Yes, okay. click on this, connect this. So, okay, after that, uh, here as you can see, it is. It is not aligned so just select all the walls by clicking uh, by keep holding on the control key and click select all the walls so here as you can see we have to align how we are going to align this is by using the arrow marquees we need to go slightly upwards press the upward arrow mark until where you want Okay, this is it and we need to move slightly left side so as you can see here move here a bit still a bit okay this is fine now yes this is fine so our exterior walls is being laid upon base now you can view it here in 3d here one more option is there you can see default 3d view so click on this to view so this is our 3d view so okay these are our exterior walls now let's go to the interior walls again click on the plinth option here Now we can again view our 2D model in AutoCAD. These are the interior walls. This uh, length is 3.3 meter and here is the vertical length is 4.74 meter. First let's make the uh, partition of this uh, hall and the bedroom. Okay. Let's do it. So again you have to click on the wall option here. For interior wall, I am going to take a bit uh, lesser thickness or keep it the same. Okay, let's keep the same. 
from here move the mouse to this point and when you slightly move towards the left side as you can see it is showing 100 200 300 so here you have you know that uh, the vertical distance is 3.33 meter so you have to type 3330 i'm going to type here according to my plan it is 3.3 uh, meter wide hall i have click enter then our wall is going to start from here again this length was 4770 okay yeah we are done with the hall let's connect it this is our hall here is our bedroom let's see 3.44 meter horizontally and vertically 3.35 meter let's not uh, think about this length here from here it is 3.35 it is done so next make the compartment for kitchen and puja room so i'm just going to drag this from here to here as i know the kitchen and the puja room is uh, combined from here how much is the width of the puja room so our width of the puja room is 1.2 meter and uh, length is 1.9 meter this is 1.2 that is uh, 1200 so I'm going to click 1900 is our horizontal length let's connect this so our hall is done bedroom is done kitchen is done puja room is done next is our bedroom with attached bathroom here let's just drag this from here to here so interior walls have been done here this portion i need to open as a passage here to enter this bedroom and this bedroom and toilet so how to cut this wall i am going to show here here as you can see the modify option click on the modify option here you are going to see copy cut join and all here is the option split elements so click on this split element and uh, you can zoom and see where you have to you want to cut it will show you yes cut here and let's cut here when you cut here this wall has been separated you can select this wall and delete it here is our passage so i hope all of you have understood this we will be updating the next videos soon thank you